If you're working with the rotary axis, one of the things you might want to do is you might want to work with 3D models. This is, of course, a very simple 3D model, but I'm going to use it to illustrate the concept of unwrapping a mesh onto a relief surface. So you can see that I've placed this along the x-axis, so centered along the x-axis, and that's important for how and route is going to use the model when it unwraps it. So I'm going to go back to the top view here. And if I turn on both views here, you can see that I've got a flat relief that's been created. And it's the size of my material. And of course, my material has been set up based on the diameter of three inch radius or a six inch diameter material, which gives a Y height of 18.8496. And that's something that, that in route is happy to calculate for you. And so anyway, once I have both of those things selected, then I can go into the Unwrap Model tool, Unwrap Mesh onto a Relief tool. I can also get there by going to the Surface menu item and clicking Unwrap Mesh. And basically that's all you have to do. The key is having the model placed in the correct position. Now if I turn off that extra layer, you can see that the that model, that cube, has been unwrapped onto the relief. And you may not have guessed that this is what it was going to look like, but that's how it looks when it's unwrapped onto a flat surface. So now if I hit Control shift x it rewraps that surface back around the rotary axis. And you can see I've got my cube again. So, so that's how that's created. So now let's look at it in another drawing. So here's a 3D object, a mesh that's a little bit more complex than the cube that I used as an example. So that's the model I'm going to use. And then in this drawing, I have it positioned along that x-axis like I did with the cube. And so it's ready to unwrap onto a flat surface. Now I've already done the unwrapping process, so we don't have to wait for that. But basically what I did is exactly the same thing as with the cube, is I created a flat relief surface, select both the object that's been positioned correctly, and then unwrapped it onto the relief surface. And this is a kind of a sort of a surreal look, a sort of a strange look with that object unwrapped onto that surface. But you can see that it took that model and, and unwrapped his head onto that flat surface. So again, if I hit Control shift x it wraps that surface back. And I have him pointed down because when it wraps the relief, then, then that model fits best with his head right in the center, with his face right in the center, and the seam on the back of his head. So, so the seam where the two sides match up is going to place on the back of the head. So that's why he's pointed down just like the model was when it was created. So that's the Unwrap Mesh tool, and you, you can see from this that you can get quite amazing results from a 3D model just by unwrapping it onto a relief surface and then outputting it to your machine. So that's a new feature in Enroute 6.